Welcome to the next part of this tutorial and in this one we are going to uh, check out the main group over here and those layered elements. Everything else has been covered in the first two tutorials already. So we talked about the drums, we talked about the vocals over here, the bass sounds over there, the supporting group and we talked about this pad group already. So and also we had a look at the complete arrangement and now we are going to check out this drop section over here. Have a look at the different layers. So in this main group I have um, two operator instances and a couple of massive instances and the main wave table we are using from the massive is the one I put in here. So this massive instance uses the flint wave table, this one the groan, this one adds sustain and also we are using a silence over here with a very typical chami-ish kind of sound and also using another silent over here of silence for the higher frequencies. Let's start with this first um, element over here and have a look at the midis. The midis are always the same. <laughs> We go down one octave with the sound. So that one is a really, really interesting sound for this whole future house kind of genre. And it's the one, the fifth step lead, lead out of um, the operator. And just changing the octaves, you really get an idea of what this thing is capable of doing. And over here, we are just using it for those higher stabby kind of sounds. We're adding a little bit of EQing, a little bit of chorus on top. A lot of chorus actually over here on this one ping pong and um, sidechain. Um, we, we have the sound a second time without those choruses I think or just one chorus and a little bit of EQing towards the sides. <laughs> So you could use that one lower as well. I also like it pretty much lower, but um, well, over here I use it in that way. The next one is Flanders uh, Massive Wavetable. Um, let's check that out. So we are basically uh, we are basically using this wavetable over here. What happens if we go down the octaves with that one? looking for this attacky kind of weird sound in the higher frequencies over here and I cut out a lot of resonant things and uh, just put in some phaser chorus the amp is not playing and a little bit of ping pong delay over here we have the groan wavetable massive groan there it is, and that's more the Heldens kind of thing sound. A little bit of EQing again, cutting out the resonant parts, cutting out some low ends, adding a little bit of sustain to the sound. Also adjusting a little bit the starting point of each of those sounds because some have a longer attack time and some a little shorter attack times to have them sync together nicely um, I'm adjusting over here and then I also have the sustainy part just playing the sustainy notes over here so only those longer notes over here with this part Also using a groan, using a little bit of gliding time with the monophone. Okay, now we have.
have some dry element over here. It's the grown wavetable 3. Well, that's how it looks like. A little bit of ring modulation, phase modulation, positioning. And all those presets are part of our Future House preset pack for Massive. <laughs> using the phaser again and the chorus again. Well, below over here we also use an instance of Silent and that one also really has a nice sound in here. Let's check out the preset. So we are using a square over here, uh, over here two octaves up, could be one as well, let's put up one. So we're using the square, we're using the tri-saw, we are using a little bit of decay time over here, release time longer over there, and uh, eight voices here, four over here, note up plus seven over here, minus one octave over here, note is at zero, and the filter is down, filter control is up in the middle, pitching a little bit A and B over here in this modulation and the second one we are working with the cutoff from A so that one over here also a little bit modulated a little bit of distortion EQing delay and reverb and in sum that's the sound we are getting <laughs> And later, in this pitched layer area over here, I'm adding in some pitchy sounds. So, for example, uh, this one. Just some higher pitched kind of Mickey Mouse kind of sounds. Nothing, nothing really fancy, but we're just going up there and we are pitching a lot with, uh, with the second envelope over here. And we are going up 40. 64 to have this pitchy kind of effect and then we also adjust the glide over here and the voicing is on monophone it's basically the same over here over here just use that lead sound and um, try to emphasize on those three tones over here that's what's happening and there's a little bit of effects going on screamer of the amplifier chorus mastering sustain adding a little bit of side chaining over there filter and also this um, chorus phaser kind of thing that's always copied over here and it really does the job and then we are cutting out some stuff and we are adding in some shaping for the general cut through it's interesting maybe it's interesting to see what's happening with this effect if you're not playing any of those let's quickly put them together and um, well, let's group those. Control group, command group on, on this Mac over here. It's a little screamier. 
but it's really not worth such a long effect chain. So that's basically, well, actually in the sum of the song, we could think about deleting that one. In the first place, I was like working towards a goal and I tried to use those helpful um, effects to get there. Anyways, um, we are pretty much through those layers. So those are some ideas on how you can uh, create this future housey kind of lead stacked sound. Of course, we are also using a sub bass together with that. And the sub bass line is um, simply the operator over here uh, app acting with a sine wave and with a square wave, but not so much in the focus over here and a little bit of saturation and a low cut over here and we are playing okay you need sub uh, subwoofer system or headphones or good speakers so that's basically the sub bass and that adds together with this group and with the synth. Okay, together with the two other tutorials where we focused on the other elements of the song, we are pretty much done with this track and this project called it Future Life. Over here you can see the entire arrangement of the track and you see we have in intro section we have those pads over here, snares coming in, we're dropping in, we're building it up, we're adding in some pitchy parts over here, then there's pads again, a break, snares, and the second drop, and then we are going slowly, slowly, steadily to the outro section. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, subscribe to our channel for the next videos, and this template is available in the description, and I hope to see you next time.